guys, welcome back to my I Hate My Hair, so I'm putting a hat on now. I got an email. Ooh. A little makeup company sent me an email, asked if I wanted to try out their makeup, and I was like, duh. They're called Folklore. And I never heard of them before, but their stuff is actually pretty nice. But you'll see for yourself. So they let me pick out the stuff that I wanted to try, including this palette called the We Care For Your Favors palette. And I picked, ooh, she's cute. She's cute. I picked this one specifically so that we could do this look for Melanie Martinez, like K-12 kind of look. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna have to take off my hat because she was a skater boy. She said, see you later, boy. He wasn't bad enough for her. Is, that, is, that, is those the lyrics? I'm not a real emo. I can't quote Avril Lavigne, bro. Cute. Do y'all ever get sweaty in your armpits when you're wearing a sweater? So I don't have any of their foundation. They sent me a palette, uh, eyebrow pencil, liquid eyeliner, three lipsticks, and a highlighter. So I'm just gonna be using my own stuff. This is my um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. Oh, I have really dry skin, so I like this one. But low key, I'm getting darker. No, Ugh. I'm getting lighter as winter comes and i feel like this is getting a little dark for me i say that and it literally like matches my skin perfectly on camera like who what's i gonna talk about oh my gosh y'all can i just tell y'all something so i recently quit my job from subway because my boss was interesting my mom just came home oh crap okay I'm doing a video. I totally forgot that my mic was connected to me and I just ran off. Now I'm going to go in with the Folklore Cosmetics Brow Pencil. This is the three-in-one brow pencil in the color gray. I don't remember ordering gray like when they gave me the option. Here's what it looks like. It's cute. So there's the spoolie at the end. And then if you like untwist it, there's like a little fader thingy, which has some like product on it, like some powder, which is interesting. And then it's like one of these, like that, you know, like that. And it's shaped like that, which is interesting. Oh, but yeah, so I was gonna tell you. So I recently quit my job at Subway because my boss, there's no words to describe my boss. Her name, her name rhymes with Willie Schmuel. <laughs> oh my God. She was horrible. So I went to a staffing company. Oh shoot, I'm not even, oh my God. I totally forgot I'm doing a Melanie look. Oh my goodness. Okay, her eyebrows in this photo kind of short. Ew, you can see my laundry basket. Nobody look. Her eyebrows are shorter than mine are and they curve more upwards like a rainbow. So let's try to do that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try to erase this. Look y'all, I really don't have eyebrows. I just wasn't born with them. Like I wasn't born blessed. Even my eyebrow that's docked is like hideous. So my boss. She was horrible. I quit. I went to a staffing agency. I went there and I was like, hey, never been here before. What's the tea? Cause like, it's like a place where you just go in and they like supposedly just like find you a job, you know, that like fits your criteria. This is already way too big. She also has a different face than me though, but like the end of her eye stops it right there. I had to get myself a little wipey because this is gonna be happening a lot. All right, so the staffing place. 
So I go up in there. First thing she says, she goes, how would you feel about working in a warehouse? And I'm like thinking in my head, do I look like I'm capable to work in a warehouse to you? And I tell her, I'm like, I'm not very strong. She's like, oh no, it's just Verizon. You're just gonna be packing phones like and shipping them and stuff like that. And so I was like, okay. Oh, this is cool because you can put it straight like that. You know how it's like flat and then straight? So you can make little hairs. Ooh, that's fun. This looks nothing like Melanie, y'all. But besides of, of this being gray, it looks pretty good, like the color. And I like how it feels too. And I like how this feels. Some spoolies are real hard, but this is so soft. Look how soft that is. Also, they did not pay me for any of my opinions. These are all just my own. I'm just, they're just like, I guess they just wanted my audience to see their products, you know, just to get like their name out there and their products out there. If you do go to their website and use my little coupon, my little coupon code is gonna be right here. My little coupon code get you a discount off. I don't know how much yet. They need to email me back, but I'll put how much it is right here. Whew, that much percent off? Oh my goodness. I'm turning into James Charles. Bro, I look like a man. Look how thick that eyebrow is, dude. Maybe I'll try this one in a different way. Maybe I'll do this one way smaller. So I'm telling this lady, I'm like, girl, like, can you see me? Like, I'm not strong enough to work in the warehouse. She said, no, it's fine. And then she said, how many hours do you want? I said, well, I want part time. She said, OK. And so she's like, all right, orientation is tomorrow. And I was like, see, that's a lot better. Who did this? Why did I do that? I was like, awesome. I just found myself a job. So I really thought that that I had done something, that I had fixed my problem of not having a job. Of course, it's not going to wipe off. Y'all want some brows that stay? Folklore. What if y'all are interested in this one? So this is, I'll put a picture right here too. This is the three in one eyebrow pencil in the color gray. So girls, if you, or guys also, if you have black hair like me and they don't have black, but they do have gray and it, it looks okay. It looks pretty normal. Oh my gosh. I never even finished my story. Okay. The warehouse. She's like, yeah, how many hours do you want? I'm like, I want part time. I want like 25 hours. She's like, okay, you would be working Saturdays and Sundays from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And at first I was like, wow, that sounds kind of insane she just kind of like convinced me on it she was and i was like okay why not and so she was like okay orientation's tomorrow so i was like let's do it man so i went and there was only like four f women there it was it was mostly men and like mostly people who like lower class people like me but they were all like older than me i'm pretty sure i was the youngest one in the room and i'm 20. and i'm gonna take this nasty little wet and wild brush and I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit and since I'm broke and I don't have concealer I'm gonna take the whitest shade of my covergirl clean matte makeup lately I've just been using this wet and wild oh it's so dirty this wet and wild photo focus translucent powder low-key it's kind of dark for me I thought translucent was supposed to be translucent God had other plans when he created how fair my skin was. We also have a wig that I will be wearing. She is sitting right here. Yes, ma'am. $20 on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Yes, ma'am. So here comes the exciting part. The eyeshadow. This is the we care for your favors in number 01 because there's two different ones this is 01 and this is 1249 honestly it's a lot smaller than i thought it would be like 
the shades are a little bit smaller than I thought they would be but I've touched a couple of them I haven't used them because I kind of want to get a first impression on the video but I've touched some of them and they feel really good like they just feel you know when something just feels luxurious like if you've ever went to Sephora and touched like the the nice eyeshadows that's how it feels like or if you yourself own, own something of like high end you know what I mean like for example like the blood sugar palette like when you touch them you just know you just know that they're good because the way that they feel that's how these kind of feel well, Melanie's eye look I'm gonna put it right here but I'm looking right here because that's where I have the photo she has a pink transition maybe a little purple or something darker and then she has a white or pinkish base and then she has white underneath her eye and then like something below her eye to make her eye look bigger I swear my brushes are clean I just cleaned them ew look at that ew what is going on Morphe I'm calling corporate but yeah I just cleaned these that's why it looks like a freak they're just kind of stained from the blood sugar blood sugar that palette stains everything so for a base I start off with this real light pink color it's called bubblegum but yeah I'm so happy they let me pick what palette they were gonna send me because I was like okay I need to make something relevant for my channel right so I was like it has to be k12 like that's just the T, you know it's not picking very much up from the brush so I'm gonna do it on my finger To make it look a little more white, I'm going to go in with this color. It's called Bisque. Like a cleaner, white kind of color. Because it is very light. Whatever she has on her lid is very light. Okay, so that looks like it almost did nothing. On to the next. I'm going to go in with this color called Wine. It's a really pretty pink red color. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go in with this color called Oop. This color called pink. It's a really fun, pretty, like, bubblegum color. What's also good about this palette, too, is it comes with a mirror. A lot of them, like, a lot of palettes don't. It's kind of funny, though, because, like, the cheaper palettes usually come with a mirror for some reason. I really like having a mirror, though. Okay, girl, we're having to build this up a little bit. By the way, this is, um, I don't remember what kind of Morphe brush this is. But it's a Morphe brush and it just kind of looks like that. There's an e.l.f. dupe, which is just called a blending brush. They're kind of similar. This one's a bit more fluffier, but they're like a similar shape. So yeah, she has a very round shape. The pink is focused up here. So yeah, I'm just focusing the pink like on this part from like kind of the crease, but like above my crease and also in a very round shape like that instead of like blending it out like that like a cat eye now i'm going to go into this color called terracotta it's a really pretty red color and i'm going to put that on the tip of this brush and put that in my actual crease Girl, did I ever finish my story about the, okay, so the staffing place. So they're trying to tell me, okay, they're like, I go through the whole process. I take a drug test. The drug test is clean. And everyone was freaking out about their drug test. Like I stood in line next to two people who were like, how do you read it? How can you tell? And like, dude next to me was like, yeah, I before I came here. I can't say it out loud because YouTube will demonetize me. Yeah, he was like, yeah, I, before I came here. And I was like, what? Because they didn't tell us they were gonna drug test us, so none of us could have known. So anyway, he was like, yeah, yeah, I'm really scared, this and that. I'm gonna take a blending brush and blend it out. I'm gonna get some of that bubble gum and kind of diffuse this because it's getting real bright. But yeah, but I read his results and his results said that they were clean. So I was like, you're good, dude. So they get my drug test. I fill out all of this paperwork because that's our orientation. 
and then I really like how this is blending like the pigment is a little it's less pigmented than I would like but it's still cute like it's cute and it blends real good I like it for $12 yes ma'am so she gives me this paper with all this information on it of the address of the place that I'll be training at this and that and then I'm gonna go into bisque again that white color to diffuse it and so I'm so excited I tell my mom I go home I buy plastic jewelry because you're not allowed to have metal because they have metal detectors in the place I was going to be working at and then I'm waiting on my phone call a week goes by I'm like okay something's going on I'm gonna go into a little bit of toffee right here just to darken it up with this Morphe brush I don't know what it's called but it looks like that it's soft and it looks like maybe like a pencil girl I don't know I finally call them I'm like girl I'm done waiting so I tell them I was like what's the tea also, I'm gonna put this just right here to try to mimic how her eye be looking. Okay, so I'm like, girl, what's the tea? And she was like, well, we'll call you when there's an open spot for you. And I was like, excuse me, an open spot? I went through orientation already. You told me I had a job. What is the tea, you know? And so she told me all that. And I was like, well, baby girl, like, I need a job. She was like, well, we'll call you when there's a when there's an availability next for the position that you want. And I was like, it's almost Christmas. Like, I can't afford to be waiting around. I was like, well, you know, I kind of need a job right now. So can you help me out? And she was like, she was like, okay, hold on. And so she starts typing and she's like, do you have steel toe boots? And I was like, steel toe boots? Who? And I was like, uh, no, I do not. And she was like, okay, hold on. And then she starts typing again. And then she was like, we have something in blah, blah, blah. Like she names a city close to mine. And I was like, okay, um, how much does that pay? Where's that located? You know, just trying to get the tea. Okay, y'all, this is a more exaggerated look of Melanie's look because this is very, very colorful and pigmented, <laughs> but it's still cute. So yeah, I was like, nah, I'm cool. Like, it's okay. You don't have to keep looking because like, I'm cool. I don't want to do this no more. And um, I was like, so like, what happens if you call me and I have another job? Because she said she was going to call me when that job was available for me and I was like well I don't want it no more so like what happens if you call me like do I have to quit or like I'm confused and she was like you can just tell me if you can't and I was like okay so now I'm kind of confused because I'm technically signed up to that staffing agency <laughs> so like they have all my information they have like my bank information girl's a mess so yeah, I applied to um, Burlington, and I applied to a barbershop who um, was hiring. I'm gonna go in with bubble gum again on my finger. Oh, okay, that worked. She doesn't look like she has a cut crease, but like, it's very light. Should I cut my crease? Nah, I'm just gonna pack it. I'm just gonna be lazy. So yeah. I applied to a Burlington Coat Factory. <laughs> Every time I go to one of those, it is so crowded and the people there are obnoxious, but I need a job. I'm so next for underneath her eyes, I'm gonna go into the white shade of the James Charles palette. So I'm just going to pack some white under my eye to create that big eye effect that she has. I used to do this a lot actually. I had like a kawaii phase where I wanted to look like an anime character and I would put so much white under my eyes and people would be like, your eyes scare me. And I'd be like, good. And then she has this cute little thing going on where there's a line under her eye that kind of goes out. 
so I'm gonna try to mimic it I don't know if that's black I think it's like a dark brown I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix toffee with the black I'm just gonna go in with that color toffee try not to mess it up I have a thinner angled brush that I'm gonna use at least I think it's thinner it's the AOA Studio E114 brush. Um, you can get like a set of these for like $10, I think, on shopmissa.com. It's like a dollar makeup website. They also have the, like they have a physical store where I live, Shop Miss A store. It's so cool. In the mall. So as you see, I'm just going like kind of right there under my, I don't know, tear duct. Science. And then I'm just going out and kind of flipping it out a little bit, almost like a cat eye. And then I'm just going to go in with that black color called Carbon. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Why am I watching this tutorial? She looks insane. Let me tell you, we're gonna turn this around. I believe in us. We're gonna turn this around. I'm gonna add a little bit of that toffee mixed with that black carbon. And I'm gonna go like this. Okay, it looks a little bit worse, but I have faith, y'all. I don't have faith in a lot of things, but I have faith in us right now. Ooh, another awesome thing that they sent me. This eyeliner. Now, I haven't used it on my eye yet, but I tested it out on my skin yesterday and it would not wash off for the life of me. So, I mean, tear proof. And this one is the Super Fine Eyeliner Pen for $5.99, comes with a little cap. Ooh, I love, honestly, I love the way it looks. I think the packaging is real nice. And it's got one of those balls that you shake. It's really precise. It's incredibly precise. I really like it. This is a really nice product. I really, really like this. And it's not like too shiny or anything. I know it looks crazy on me because I look insane right now. But girl, get you a little wing. Yes, ma'am. That's cute. I know in this photo she doesn't have this. But I kind of want to add little lashes. But I'm also scared that I'll regret it. I'm going to add little ones. Just three. Yeah, I kind of regret it. Now, I'm just going in with this really super duper clumpy elf eyelash what? mascara. Literally, I forget words so much. It's insane. Now, it is time for lashes. I am the worst uh, beauty YouTuber in the world. So, I have no clue where I got these. But they look like that. They look like that from the side and that from the middle. I probably got them from either AliExpress or Shop Miss A because both of those places have such, they just have cheap eyelashes. Like the, the eyelashes at Shop Miss A are a dollar and then on AliExpress, they're like one to two dollars. And I'm just using, ew. I'm just using this duo glue that's half empty and very gross. But that's just how it be sometimes, you know? My microphone wasn't even on me. So now that the eyelashes are on, I'm gonna go ahead. Honestly, this is my favorite part of this whole video, the highlighter. So it comes in a cute little package like that. This one is the Glow Highlighter in 01 golden crystal this was the lightest shade they had it's so cute it has a little magnet 
Okay. Yes, ma'am. Glowing for the gods. Okay. Okay, so that's like how it looks in real life, but it's just so shimmery. Like, and it has a cute little mirror on it. I haven't put this on my face yet. I swatched it and I was very excited. So let's just give her a try. Okay, yep. Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. This. $9.99. Little expensive if you're kind of broke like me. But she's got some power to her. Wow. I really like that. That's awesome. Barely even did like one application. That's into look. It's so bright, it's just white on camera. That's insane, that is so cool. I'm gonna put a, put a bit on my nose. Even though I do not have the nose shape to be doing that, I still do it anyway, because I think it's cute. I've already looked at the three lip products they sent me, which I picked. Now, the colors are way different than how I thought they were on the screen. So this one, this one is called the Chocolate Matte Lipstick. So I tried this one out. It is so, okay, first, that magnetic packaging is so cool. And then it has those little designs on there. Now this is in the color Dulce de Leche. And it was supposed to be like this. However, that is a Marilyn Monroe red, if I've ever seen one. I could put that like kind of in the center and put some gloss over it. And I will be reviewing these lip products at the end of the video. So if you just if you want to see how they perform, I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to cover my lips with a nude lipstick. If I were you, just don't mess with your lips and put on a lip gloss. Cause now that I've been messing with my lips, number one, they look scary. And number two, when you mess with your lips, they get more red, you know? So this is Mannequin by Jeffree Star, his Velour Liquid Lipstick. I love this cause it smells like root beer. I'm gonna let that dry and then I think I'm gonna go over it with this pink lip gloss. Honestly, Lip gloss is just lip gloss. Like you can use a lip gloss from literally anywhere. I get lip gloss from Dollar Tree a lot. The hair store, like this, they sell like hair bundles and wigs and all that. They have lip gloss. There we are. I feel like she has a soft touch of blush. So I'm gonna go in with some blush. I'm just gonna take a brush like that. And I also got this from Shop Miss A. It's just like a regular pink. And I'm gonna do both shades. And I'm gonna try not to look stupid. Now this is definitely a lot more dramatic than Melanie's look, but I feel like it definitely is still like a K-12 vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and put this wig on. And we will complete our look. I'm going to do two wig caps because my hair is so thick at the top. And then I have these stupid layers at the bottom that I cut myself. I thought it was such a good idea. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I definitely feel like I have a coconut head. My head just naturally looks like a coconut, you know, cause I'm related to Oliver Tree and Melanie Martinez. Like this wig definitely fits people's faces. If you have like a slimmer face, I got kind of a round face, so I kind of look like a coconut. But I think overall, this look ended up pretty well. I liked it and I hope you guys liked it. It was really fun. Let me know if you want me to do more recreations, more makeup videos. 
honestly, I'm into this. This is cute. I'm feeling the vibes, feeling the K-12 vibes. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the three products that I didn't fully review yet of the Folklore Cosmetics. So I'm going to, but this looks so good. I don't wanna take it off. I love these lips together. That nude with that pink lip gloss. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, I'm just gonna go wipe this off and then show you the rest of the products. This is our chocolate matte lipstick, color M10 Dulce de Leche for $5.99. It's, so I tried this out when I first got it because I was so curious. Loki, it smells like chocolate. So first I'm gonna show y'all how I think their model is wearing it. I think their model's wearing it like this, which is actually really cute. Put like a little lip gloss over it, very cute. Now, I know what you're thinking. This looks like a stick, like a lipstick tube, like a regular, like what your mama uses, right? It actually does dry matte, which is insane. And it's so comfortable feeling. So you can wear it like this, where you just kind of like blot it out to give you some color which is what I figured out after. Cause when I first got this, I put this all over my lips. Let me show you what that looks like. But yeah, so when you put it all over your mouth, it is the reddest red that has ever redded in the history of red. Okay. All right, and this one is the Angel Matte Lipstick in 506 bean paste is the color this one retails for 649 honestly i love all their packaging part of me feels like a lot of their profit goes on packaging because like it has weight to it it's kind of heavy it looks like something like a really like pretty girl would have in her backpack or purse i don't know so the applicator is kind of tilted like that so i guess you could go either like that or you could flip it the other way and go like that that's what I'm gonna do another very red pink color this is one of those more traditional mattes where it dries really quickly and it's not as breathable the kinds that you expect if you use On the website, it looked a lot different, the color. Um, it's very breathable. I really like it. Um, it's one of those classic matte lipsticks and it has a pretty matte finish to it. I'm just not crazy about the color because it's very like theater, very showgirl. But if I was wearing maybe like all black or something, that was very calm and I just wanted a bold lip, that'd be pretty. So bean paste. And lastly, we have the Devil Lip Gloss in color BO3 Pink Mauve and this retails for $6.49. This one, when I swatched it, it was so cute, but I tried it on my lips and you'll see. It's a lot darker than I expected. There's what it looked like online. And honestly, I think it'd be cute with maybe like a nude brown eye, but it's a little sticky and it's extremely dark. It looks so light in the packaging. In my honest opinion, I wouldn't use this as a lip gloss. It doesn't really feel like a lip gloss to me. It feels like a more like a lip color, really. And what's interesting is when it came on the box right here, it says cream long lasting lip stain. Now, I, I don't know if this is gonna stain my lips, probably. But it feels like it's drying. 
and it feels like it's drying really weird. Out of all the products, and I'm sorry Folklore, this is not shade on y'all's company, I mean, the packaging is hella cute. Like, their packaging, no matter what their item is, their packaging I really, really think is so cute. And it's heavy just like the other one and it feels nice. But this lip gloss does not do it. And I mean, it's okay. If you're into something that stays kind of wet and has a shine to it and a thick color to it, then you would want this. I feel like this is kind of like, I feel like with all of these, to be honest, like, except for the super red one, you could wear to like a business setting, like a business casual kind of meal. So I definitely recommend the chocolate matte lipstick for $5.99 you get that much product packaging super awesome super nice um, you can use it in all kind of different ways I really like the formula on this one just know that the colors might be different so if you want a light nude get the lightest color they have because this one was supposed to be this and this is a cranberry red girl. Other things that were my favorite were the beautiful highlighter. I enjoyed that so much. It's so bright, look, it barely even picks up on camera because it's just so bright. <laughs> but that's how it looks kind of in real life. And then this, it is so good, it is so precise. Look how precise I got those little eyelashes. I love it, I love this. So, highlighter, $9.99. I recommend it. I really like it. And there's a lot of product in there. And you can take it with you with a mirror. Honestly, I'm a cheap girl and I'm all about saving money. So, if it were me and I was looking for not a high end, but a higher end than like drugstore or like... There's some high end drugstore products though these days, but I feel like... With their packaging and like the quality of most of their products, it's all pretty good. Also, so this palette, this palette was $12.49, comes with a mirror. You get mattes and shimmers in there, which are really pretty and creamy. I'm going to go ahead and do some swatches for y'all. So I'm going to swatch this one. It's called Dubai so creamy it really is so creamy that's how that one swatched now i'm going to swatch this orange color called indian red with these they need a little love i feel like Ooh, okay you know they need a little love but once you get them there like they're there it's not patchy it's not i feel like you just need a little bit more you know I'm going to swatch this really p pretty pink shimmer right there. Ooh. I'm going to swatch this one called Moonlight. It looks like a white, but it's like a really pretty shimmer. I feel like you could use it as a highlight, to be honest, like on your face. So there is it on my hand right there. And then here, don't mind those. Those are from yesterday. Those are the three swatches that I just did. I'm going to do more for y'all. I'm going to do terracotta, which I used on my eye. So there is one swipe of the terracotta. Let's go in for another one. That's pretty. That is real pretty, y'all. Wow, I like that. Oh, I think I'm gonna try the brown gold. Okay, so here goes the brown gold. Oh, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Okay. She said that. Yes, ma'am. And now I'm gonna go in with ruby. Wow. These are really nice. Actually, I wasn't expecting them to swatch this well, to be honest. I'm going to go in with gold mine and I'm also gonna do rose gold wow that is incredible wow 
those really show up y'all now i'm going to do some of the matte shades i'm going to do wine switch to this arm now or this side of my arm okay she needs a little love she's there she's 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 faintly there girl she's there though now i'm going to go into this color called pink i wonder if they just got tired of naming their eyeshadows so they're like i'll just name this pink one pink yeah she's not really there girl she needs a little help okay, well there's the pink now i think for my last one i'm going to well i'm going to do two let's do copper rose and salmon okay so these two need a little help also however that would be such a pretty transition color if you got it to work for you like you know what i'm saying like if you just get them to work like you know some some of them they just need a little love you know what i'm saying so my lips feel like they're permanently stained i literally just wiped off the last lipstick i was wearing but nevertheless i hope you guys enjoyed this little review and tutorial please please subscribe and hit that like button because it helps me tremendously only if you enjoyed the video though if you don't leave a comment telling me how much you hated it i'm ready i'm ready thank you guys so much for watching though and i'm so grateful we just hit 12,300 subs insane but yeah thank you so much for watching thank you so much for watching and i'll see y'all next time